William Fowler and his young niece were travelling home from Bristol to his farm in Tumagna. But their journey was about to be rudely and violently interrupted. You money or your life? Your money or your life? William is believed to be the last man in England to have been shot by a highwayman. He's buried in Chew Magna churchyard, but his headstone was very hard to read. Money was raised to restore it. There's obviously a lot of litching on here, which, we, which is, is never good on stone, but you know, it's, it's, it's natural. Um, the letters are slightly shallow now where it's weathered over the years so hopefully I'll be able to recut them slightly to make sure they're nice and clear and visible again. But before he can start work on the lettering, Andrew must remove over 200 years of mould and lichen growth. So the process would be remove the visible lichen here. And I'll use a, a, an alkaline product on it, which will kill off a lot of this lichen. So that'll be scraped back. Start bringing it back to the stone with a bit of uh, elbow grease. I can then have a look underneath the lichen if there's any delamination, which I can see a little bit on the top here, which is where the weather would be beaten to it. Andrew uses a stone bonding material to prevent further damage. The repairs then have to be carefully sanded down to leave a smooth surface. Only now can Andrew begin to think about the lettering. Definitely want to get this a little bit clearer here. The date here is a little bit faded. Then what we'd be looking at is, you know, just having a look at the letters and see how clean we can get these back. If I've got to recut a few in places, then, then I will do. All these things that went on years and years ago and then still seeing them set in stone with inscription, it's a lovely, it's a lovely thing to be part of. Keeping history alive is, is such a big thing to me, always has been. And once it's gone, it's gone, so we need to really keep this safe. Thanks to Andrew's work, William Fowler's headstone should easily be read for another 200 years. <laughs>